Tesla is the largest global battery electric vehicle manufacturer by a good margin, and they have definitely disrupted the auto industry in a very big way. But can Tesla do the same when it comes to battery manufacturing? Let's compare Tesla to the top 10 global battery manufacturers and discuss how Tesla could soon disrupt this market in a very big way. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. While Tesla has made it very clear that they plan to continue to buy a large number of batteries from their suppliers, um, they also have some really big plans for their in-house 4680 battery production. And when you take a look at what Tesla could be producing in the next few years, it appears very possible that Tesla could be one of the top global battery manufacturers in the not too distant future. And I believe it's even possible that Tesla could overtake CATL as the world's largest battery manufacturer um, sometime in the not too distant future as well. The website elements.visualcapitalist.com recently put out this infographic and they showed here the top 10 EV battery manufacturers in 2022. And this includes data for the first half of 2022. As you can see, CATL controls somewhere around 34% of the battery market. LG controls somewhere around 14% of the battery market. And so far this year, BYD is outpacing Panasonic and according to this data, they are the number three battery manufacturer so far in 2022. Now beyond market share percentage, I think it's important that we actually put a number of gigawatt hours per year, an actual production number to these percentages. So I actually found a car and driver article that had the exact numbers for this data. And as you can see on this chart that I've accumulated with data from the um, elements.visualcapitalist.com and car and driver website, um, CATL so far through the first half of 2022 produced almost 71 gigawatt hours of batteries according to this data. And as you can see, when it comes to the number two spot, LG Chem, they haven't even produced half as many batteries as CATL has so far through the first half of 2022. So CATL actually has a pretty big lead. This data also shows us that not only is China-based CATL the world's largest battery manufacturer by a pretty good margin, but China currently dominates the battery manufacturing industry as well with over 56% of the global market. But I believe Tesla will soon shake this up quite a bit and put the USA on the map when it comes to uh, battery manufacturing. In order to see how this might be a possible in the future, let's take a look at Tesla's battery manufacturing today and also what they hope to do in the future. At Tesla's battery day, they put forth the plan of 100 gigawatt hours of batteries in 2022. However, as I and others have reported, um, Tesla has hit some snags in that plan and it's taking longer than they had hoped to ramp up 4680 battery production. However, Tesla is making good progress, and according to data that I mentioned in a past video from the Electrified YouTube channel, um, Tesla is currently producing between their Fremont Pilot Facility and Gigafactory Texas somewhere around 110,000 individual 4680 battery cells per day. So they're currently sitting at a run rate of around three to four gigawatt hours per year if you annualize this number. However, a run rate is not really what's important. What's actually important is a rough projection of what Tesla should actually be able to produce in gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries through the end of 2022. Conservatively, I believe it's very possible that by the end of 2022, Tesla will have produced up to five gigawatt hours of batteries in it. It may actually be better than that. They may actually end up having a really good um, last few months of the year and push this forward. But conservatively, I believe this is a good estimate between three to five gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries actually being produced in 2022. Beyond that, I think it's very possible that Tesla could hit a 100 gigawatt hour run rate in 2023, especially when you consider the fact that Gigafactory Texas recently started limited production of around 10,000 cells per day um, per the Electrified YouTube channel. And as I reported in a previous video, the plan is to have Gigafactory Texas operate four individual battery production lines, each capable of producing 25 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. And that gives us a total initial capacity of around 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 production per year. 
Also, the plans for Gigafactory Berlin are for that factory to be able to produce 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 batteries per year once fully ramped up in the future. And when it comes to Gigafactory Shanghai, one of my sources told me that um, in-house 4680 battery production has officially started there. Then, of course, the Fremont Pilot Facility is designed to produce somewhere around 10 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. And I'm sure Tesla will announce more Gigafactories in the somewhat near future. So based on my estimates, beyond a run rate of 100 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, I think Tesla's actual 4680 battery production in the full year 2023 will be somewhere between 50 to 100 gigawatt hours actually produced in that year. In addition, as Tesla moves towards their goal of producing 3 terawatt hours of batteries per year by 2030, Conservatively, I believe Tesla will be able to produce 300 plus gigawatt hours of batteries per year um, in 2025. And I say conservatively because Tesla has some very revolutionary processes that they're currently developing for their battery manufacturing, like the dry electrode process, which drastically reduces the footprint of the electrode portion of the factory. And when you add up all the battery manufacturing innovations that Tesla hopes to implement, in their factories. Um, like Tesla mentioned at Battery Day, this should allow them to, in the same space that it took to build around 150 gigawatt hours of batteries, they should be able to build a Terra factory that uses up less factory space than that. So nonetheless, Tesla's goal of achieving three terawatt hours of battery production by 2030, that's a huge goal, but I do believe there is a strong possibility that Tesla could get there. But let's be conservative and say that Tesla's actual battery production in 2030 will be somewhere between one terawatt hour and three terawatt hours of battery production. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and focus in on the top five global battery manufacturers so far in 2022. So once again, the top five companies are CATL, LG Energy Solution, BYD, Panasonic, and SK Innovation. However, this chart only shows battery production through the first half of 2022. Now, when it comes to the full year battery production, I know this is not going to be completely accurate, but we can get a rough estimate of what the full year 2022 numbers may look like for these companies by simply doubling these numbers. So by simply doubling these numbers, you can see that CATL should be able to produce at least 140 plus gigawatt hours of batteries this year. LG Energy Solutions somewhere near 60 gigawatt hours or more. BYD somewhere near 50 gigawatt hours of batteries or greater. Panasonic somewhere around 40 gigawatt hours of batteries or greater, and SK Innovation somewhere over 26 gigawatt hours of batteries this year. Now with numbers like this in mind for the full year of 2022, if Tesla is indeed able to produce over 50 gigawatt hours of batteries in the full year of 2023, of course these top five manufacturers will also likely increase their battery production as well, but I believe it's very possible that if Tesla produces over 50 gigawatt hours of batteries in 2023, that they could make this top five list as soon as the end of next year. But more importantly, is it possible that Tesla could overtake CATL for the top spot by 2030? In order to see if this is actually a possibility, let's take a look at CATL's plans for the future and what they've announced. According to this graphic from CATL's website, they list 13 individual production bases, 11 of which are in China, one in Germany, and one in Hungary. However, when it comes to these 13 production bases, several of these are not actually in operation. Some are still being built, and there are some factories that were just recently opened and just recently started production, so they're likely not fully ramped up either. So in order to get a better idea of what CATL's battery production will actually look like in the coming years, um, I went over to CATL's website and went to the news section to see some of the announcements that have been made in the somewhat recent past. For instance, on December 20th, 2021, CATL broke ground on a new lithium ion battery plant that they have listed on the map in Xiamen. And according to this September 7th Pan Daily article, construction has now started on phase one of the factory, so we're still a decent way off before this plant actually produces batteries. In addition, on December 24th of 2021, CATL broke ground on another factory in Guizhou. And while no official start of production date has been mentioned, um, phase one of this factory should have a planned capacity of around 30 gigawatt hours of production per year. Moving to 2022, on April 4th of this year, CATL's German plant received approval to produce batteries and 
This initial approval allows them to produce around eight gigawatt hours of batteries per year for this plant. Also on May 30th of this year, CATL's Guangdong battery plant officially started production. And according to this GreenCongress.com article, this first phase of production is designed to produce around 25 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. And this article also mentions that CATL hopes to be able to produce somewhere around 150 gigawatt hours of batteries per year by the end of 2030 in this region. This Green Congress article also shared a bit of other information that's helpful in our estimates. And it mentioned, quote, in January, Shangang Securities projected that CATL's battery capacity would triple to 336 gigawatt hours in 2023, up from 109 gigawatt hours in 2020. In other battery factory news for CATL, on August 12th of this year, CATL officially announced their plans to build a 100 gigawatt hour battery facility in East Hungary. And subject to all the necessary approvals, construction of this facility could begin this year. More recently, on September 9th of this year, CATL and BMW signed an agreement and CATL is going to be supplying cylindrical battery cells to BMW in the future, starting from 2025. And this announcement mentions that these battery cells will be built at, quote, two of CETL's future battery plants in China and Europe, each with an annual capacity of up to 20 gigawatt hours dedicated to BMW Group. One other announcement that's important to just point out once again, you may have heard this in the news, but as Reuters recently reported, CATL is still planning on building a battery production facility in North America, and that should be built by 2026. So now moving back to the chart that I created, and as you can see in 2023, I believe it's very possible that CATL could produce somewhere around 300 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, or possibly even more. Whereas I pegged Tesla at between 50 and 100 gigawatt hours of batteries produced in 2023. However, it starts to get more interesting as you move towards 2030. Obviously right now, CATL has tons of projects in the works. Um, and, you know, Tesla has several factories that are ramping up production, but not quite as many factories as CATL. Nonetheless, um, it looks like CATL will be able to produce 600 plus gigawatt hours of batteries per year in 2025. And it could be greater than this, but I believe this is a somewhat safe conservative estimate. And if Tesla is indeed able to produce anywhere near three terawatt hours of batteries in 2030, um, depending on what CATL is able to announce when it comes to new factories between now and then and get ramped up, um, they could be right in line with CATL's production numbers or possibly surpass them in 2030. Obviously, CATL has a huge head start. They have more production facilities. And let's just be honest, they have more experience. So the likelihood of this happening um, doesn't seem like it's a possibility. However, when you see what Tesla did in the auto industry and when you see how they're growing so quickly, uh, it really makes this kind of disruption in the battery industry seem kind of possible, especially also when you consider that Tesla is bringing in a new way to manufacture batteries and their factories, if they're able to use all the innovations that I've talked about in the past and that they revealed at Battery Day, their factories are going to be so much more efficient than all of these other factories. So they won't need as many battery factories as CATL uh, will need to be able to reach that over one terawatt hour production number. Um, Tesla may even be able to produce a terawatt hour once again of batteries in a single factory and have a production capacity in a single factory of a terawatt hour scale of batteries per year. That's of course possible in the future. And when it comes to what this means for Tesla's future, if Tesla is really going to be able to produce 20 million EVs and meet their energy storage deployment goals in the future, they're of course going to need a lot of these batteries and not having to solely rely on other battery suppliers will give them a huge advantage and give them a cost advantage over the competition. Well, of course, nothing is guaranteed and these are just all projections. Tesla's 4680 ramp seems to be going the right direction now. Um, and with battery production happening at their Texas facility, their uh, Shanghai facility, um, their Fremont facility, and also somewhat soon, hopefully their Giga uh, Berlin facility, 
Uh, I believe these kind of production numbers are very possible. And once again, I believe we'll see new factory announcements from Tesla in the very near future. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Do you think I'm right? on this or do you think I'm wrong? Either way, I'd love to hear from you. And also if you work in the battery or automotive industry and you have anything that you'd like to share with me, insights or information, feel free to email me. My email address is john, J-O-N at cleanerwatt.com. Again, john, J-O-N at cleanerwatt.com. In addition, I want to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you once again to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up and how you can support my work, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.